Welcome back to DIY Young. Today we'll be fixing a battery fault for a fire alarm panel. Pause right here. Remember there's electrical work involved. Do engage and professional if necessary. The fault indicator will light up the issue. For this case, it's battery fault. Press the black buzzer silent to stop the continuous alarm. Remember to switch off the main supply to the fire alarm panel. Pairs from the battery are connected to the positive and negative terminal of the PCB. Two 12 volt batteries are connected in series to achieve 24 volts. Remember to take photo of the wirings. Unplug the battery to completely remove the power to the panels. The yellow light will turn off once there's no power supplying to the panel. It's hard to remove the female connectors from the male connectors. And you can use a plier to assist you. And you can see this is a real life recording of me removing just with bare hands, which is pretty hard. From here, we just have to take out the battery and check the condition of it. This is a 12 volt lead acid battery uh, by Genesis. I'll use a ruler to show you that the battery is indeed bloated. And this is the reason that caused the battery fault. We will use a multimeter to check the voltage of the old battery and see whether it is 12 volts. DC voltage on the multimeter is indicated by a dotted line and one solid line over it. Turn the knob to measure the DC current and adjust it to 20 volt range. Place each probe at each of the terminal. You can see the reading is only showing 6.32 volts. We brought a brand new one at home somewhere which cost about $27. Let's measure the brand new lead acid battery and see whether it has a 12 volt in it. And you can see the new battery holds a voltage of about 12 volts range. This is a full wiring recording clip in case you did not record the photo. Otherwise you can skip to 2 minutes and 46 seconds. The batteries have to be connected in series. Make sure that the wire uh, in between the batteries is connected red to black. From here, you have to screw the red wire to the positive and the black strip wire to the negative terminal. There could be a small spark once to complete the whole circuit as the battery will supply the power into the board. The other method is you can screw in the wires first and after that you just slot in the female connector. Okay, and can you hear from here the loud beeping sound is indicating that power supply is needed. So we just have to turn on the switch. Okay, now going back to the panel, you can see the yellow light is gone and the red light is on. Going back to the front panel, you can also see the indicator light is not showing battery for anymore. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more DIY videos. Bye!